Hey guys, what is going on? It is me, Sam here. Welcome to this video. So for my channel, I want to start covering as many updates as I can. And uh, I wanted to start things off with, uh, well, an infamous sort of feature on the game, Solomon's General Store, uh, with the Dwarven Challenge Barrels. And you get 10 of these uh, when you purchase the either 20k loyalty points or 100 rune coins. And what they do is you pretty much just put them on the ground and you can use whatever weapons you want. And you can just deal as much damage as you can. And after that three minutes, it will actually tell you how much you've done. So it's a good way of actually comparing um, weapons. And uh, I've got an in-game clip right now, which I'm going to show you of what it's actually like and what they really do and if they're worth it. Okay then guys, so this is a live commentary uh, in-game clip of the Dwarven Challenge Barrels. And uh, yes, we're going to see what they actually do, um, what the purpose of them are, and uh, you know, actually in game. And I've decided to test it out with some Drygors. I've just got some Drygor Rapiers right here. That's all I've got on me, uh, so nothing else there, both charged. Um, and um, here they are, I've bought 10 of them, uh, as you saw in the previous clip. And it's got a high score option on it as well, if I click on that, probably... Well, there we go. My highest damage done to a Dwarven Challenge Barrel is zero in three minutes. Got this baby implant watching me. Um, and, uh, you know, let's see what they do. So I'm just going to place one down. I'm going to put down um, the right action bar. There we go. We've got my melee one. And uh, let's see what they do. So I'm going to place this one down. Who can attack the barrel? Let's just go with just me. And then there we go. So get ready to fight. Three, two. I'm just going to do revolution. Um, and when I can, I will chuck on um, any thresholds or abilities. But... Yeah, the main point of these is to, in a way, uh, test out how much damage you can do with certain weapons. So, um, obviously, when new weapons come into the game, uh, PVMers especially um, would want to compare weapons uh, and see how much damage they do. And with this, I think you can really sort of tell um, with, well, just what I'm guessing, how much damage you can do to um, a monster um, or compare weapons I suppose. If I was to do this with Drago Rapiers and do it to uh, Drago Longswords you could see uh, how much damage uh, differently you could do with it. Obviously there's still going to be differences like just then where I wasn't looking that I had full adrenaline. Um, you know another time with um, Drago Longswords like, for example I could do an, uh, a threshold as soon as it goes to 50% so in a way it would be quite difficult still but I suppose if you could still do a fair test where you just didn't use any thresholds at all you could just use um, I don't know, just just normal abilities. Just have revolution turned on and just leave it like that. Um, you know, you can still work out the difference between um, the damages and stuff like that. But um, as you can see here, it's got the two bars. One of them's orange and blue, which is I'm guessing what the you know that's the timer. I think it said it lasts for three minutes. Uh, even though I swear somewhere on the news post it said they lasted for ten minutes or something. So I'm not too sure about that. If you can like sort of change the uh, the timer on it at all, there isn't really too many options. But um, overall though to be fair like for me this doesn't really seem too much of a great item from Solomon's um, I mean I spent my loyalty points on it I don't really want to spend rune coins but it's very helpful for the PVMers that do want to compare items but it doesn't really have any reward to it but I do think what it does have is that that feature of a fair test I suppose you know they are pretty basic and um, you know from it you can really sort of work out the difference between uh, items but yeah there's no sort of like pay to win sort of aspect from this at all I mean it's simply just sort of testing out weapons and that's about it that's what I know of I mean I don't know if that you get anything from the chest at the end or the barrel um, but we just have to wait and see but as you can see I'm just doing damage uh, let's do a few more thresholds in there I haven't got berserker or anything like that but we can see um, at the end of it what it actually says so we are coming up to the last stage of it and um, I mean pff, me pff, I'm not really someone who's into you know, having like for dry girls, for example, I'm not someone who like really wants to have the best setup in the world. So like, I don't really mind having dry girl rapiers. I don't really mind sacrificing that tiny bit of damage. Um, you know, I like having the same sort of weapon on both hands instead of like a dry girl mace and a dry girl longsword, for example. Um, but from this, you could probably work out it is slightly better. I'm not too sure. There's going to be plenty of people uh, working on these and seeing actually what they're they're all about and stuff like that. But uh, we're about to, uh, look, we've got an imp here now as well, we had the, the impling, and now we've got the imp to watch. Uh, but we're coming up to the end of the uh, the timer on the barrel, and uh, let's see what happens. So there we go, we've got the, the dwarf coming out. Let's zoom in there. Escape skill did 143,246 damage in three minutes, and there we go. So result, okay, so you can just click on this guy. Uh, here's the scores. And it has quite a nice little interface with this, telling me how much damage I did. Um, damage per minute with the dry goals. I don't know if it actually tells you I'm be pretty surprised if it did but I suppose of this what you could do like I said is just have it on revolution just leave it like that and just see how much damage you could do with that weapon go to something else drag a longsword you could drag a longsword drag a mace whatever you know you can always 
uh, use this. And I suppose, to be fair, these will be quite nice to have when new items do come out. I mean, people always do compare seismics to noxious staff, whatever. You can work out with this actually really what it is like because it does give you a full sort of look of the damage and the damage per minute. You don't have to like work it out yourself and sort of figure out that way. This is legit, um, you know, it just tells you from the game. So yeah, I mean, I don't know, I'm not gonna buy anymore. Like I said, I'm not really someone who really looks into this too much, but I suppose it's kind of a nice sort of, uh, nice little item to have if you're someone who wants to have it, I suppose. Um, but yeah, I've got nine more, just gonna keep them in the bank. But if I go back onto high score, it will tell you my highest amount of damage done in three minutes. So yeah, that's gonna be it for this video guys. Thanks for watching and I will see you later.